Hey guys, I'm Padmita. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Thursday Content. So today we'll be uh, extracting the information from a site called as Gutenberg, in which there are uh, lots of novels. So you can see this is about Alice Adventure in the Wonderland. So this this is the particular page which we will be using to extract all the information in the form of a data frame. So we will be using a library called as Beautiful Sue. Uh, so once we extract all the text in the form of data frame, we can do a lot of operations such as um, finding similarity between different sentences or uh, we can do some kind of classification technique. So in this particular video, we will be concentrating uh, specific to uh, the extraction with the help of Beautiful Sue. So, so let's get started. All right. So to start with, let's import all the libraries uh, needed uh, to do the task. So I'm starting with pandas. Then I have a couple of other libraries as utils. Then I'm importing a library called as requests. So this is where we would we would uh, extract all the info uh, as 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 uh, an object, and then. Uh, let's import beautiful soup. Sorry, beautiful bees, caps, beautiful soup. And the last one is re, that is your regular expression. So, this is my first. Sorry, this is not utils, this is UR lip. URL lib. So, whatever URL we have got here, this is something we will be passing over there to get the uh, information from that page. My apologies. Yep, we could run it. And let's save this uh, particular notebook as Alice Adventures. Yes. So, first, I'm starting with uh, to give the URL, uh, which is our Gutenberg site. So I'll just pass over here. And this is something I will be giving as our requests. Request dot get URL. So this is the URL. And this is something, this particular complete URL I'm passing. And this would be uh, going with the functions request. So I'm saving it in an object called as res. And then I will be extracting the contents of res and I would save in HTML page. So this, this particular HTML page is not the text. This is basically the byte. It returns a byte format. So when we run, we will be able to see the type of the HTML page. Yes, so this could run successfully. So I can type type HTML page and you can see what type it is. It is basically bytes. It's not the text directly. So on top of this, we will be running the beautiful soup function. So now let me save this beautiful soup and let me pass this HTML page and my features would be ml dot parser and this I will be saving it in a in an object called a soup. So what am I going to get out of it? This is spelling mistake. My apologies. And then I would find all the information. I would find all the information available on soup and the text is equal to true. This is where I would be extracting all the information in the form of text. We can we can just type type of uh, you know text like the way we have done type of HTML page. In the similar way, we can just type type of text and we can see what is the output type. So this is my information. If you have a lot of memory, if you have good amount of RAM, you can you can type the entire text 
or if if it is not the case then we can just say type and we can just uh, give the top couple of lines after we convert it into data frame so this particular text if i do this type so this is basically beautiful soup for element this is not yet a data frame we have some more work pending for it we need to run a for loop for the same okay so basically this particular text will be having all the information all the, all the html tags and so on so that needs a little bit of cleaning so let's first run the loop so i would run say line 2 for line in text for line 2 in line i can go to another line line dot strip and what would be my strip point it would be it would be split it would be split and what would be my split parameter i am giving a dot so wherever we have a full stop it would be treated as a new line so this particular loop i am saving it in a in an object called as lines so when i run this one i'll be getting all in different lines so that we can store those lines in a in a data frame list of lists or a data frame okay so we could get that so we can just say lines and it will print all the information whatever we have extracted so far so this has lot of a uh, lot of cases so we'll have to remove these items so slash r slash and these are like new lines and so on so we need to remove couple of those items so i'm hiding this one now let me save this in a form of a data frame this is my lines object and my columns is my text my text and i let me save it in pdf so this would be my data frame right so the same items will be just in the form of data frame but we have not done any changes so far now we need to run couple of more uh functions so where we will be replacing all the items like slash r and these are the items we need to clean so let me write a small function for that so it would be data frame dot replace i would be replacing what items i would be replacing all the tabs or i would be replacing all the new lines or on the spaces p r n or r so these things i would be replacing so it would be a row comma the same things i would be giving single slashes slash t or slash n slash r and the value should be the value should be a comma and my regex is equal to and my in place sorry spelling mistake in place is equal to true this is my entire code to replace all the all the t's and oh my god this is a comma this is a comma so all the this is my regex and this is what i need to replace so let me run this so this ran So now this is something I will be saving again back to a data frame. So we have to go to df dot rename underscore axis. This is where I am renaming my axis, and the first one would be my id because I do not have any extra column. It is only one column where we have all the text, and then it would be column. 
axis of the columns. So this is my data frame. Okay, now my C should be small. And then this is something I will be storing to my local machine where the next video will be all about cleaning the data. Uh, sorry, I think we have done almost all the cleaning. So we will be finding the similarity between various sentences in my next video. So let's first save this to a local. So this is my. So this, if I see, if I go and check in my local library, this would be my alice.csv would be my data frame to, um, to access the file, the CSV file. The same will be used in my next uh, video for uh, identifying the similarity between different sentences or you randomly you take one sentence and uh, find out which are the close or most close sentences. Thank you. Thank you for watching.